well. I feel okay. that this is fairly significant, this this video. Cause yeah, because you guys probably have a lot of questions and you're nervous about stuff. And we're not nervous at all, so it's going to be fine. All right, well, everybody, welcome back to another episode of The, the Host Away. Away. I'm Mark. I'm Sam. Okay, before we start, I feel as if Sam wants to give everybody a PSA because she had kind of a week. What is it? And she's going to give you your medical, what you should need to know if for some day you have a child that gets bitten by a dog, what oh, should you do? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so m mostly a child, but if you are bitten by any animal, punctured the skin. Immediately call your doctor and get on an antibiotic. 100% of the time, it's going to get infected because animals' mouths are full of bacteria. Yeah, my daughter um, was bitten by our dog. I don't, I don't even want to, yeah, yeah nipped. nipped. She got a little bit of a little bite. It ended up getting infected and we spent four days into the, in the hospital. You'd think that it would be a trip to the doctors and they give you some antibiotics. Maybe you missed it. How, how much time did you spend in the hospital? Three nights, four days. She was great the whole time, it was just, a lot of swelling. Like, had we immediately called the doctor, got her on the antibiotic, we would have never had gone to the hospital. Is that why you hate dogs? I don't hate dogs. <laughs> I, I don't. don't hate dogs. I'm just kidding. I'm not a fan of all dogs because I want them to run and frolic like free animals. If you want to let all the dogs go and run rampant, that would be great. Except the ones that are going to bite people. <laughs> I have a great Dane. Her name's Maisie. She's up for adoption. This week, credentials were sent. Last Friday, December 11th, Credentials were sent out to students. That's what it said. National HOSA sent individual emails to students on the credentials. Now with any super mass 3,000 plus emails, 10% are not going to get sent. Whether it's a bad email address, it went to spam, or just some fluke in the system, some students did not receive the individual email. That is why we also sent credentials to advisors, a list of all of your students' credentials. Again, some might have been missed, and if that's the case, please email me and I will send you the credentials. Please email samantha.pull at mhc.org. The longer code, most of them start with the T, capital T, that is your username. The smaller Shorter one, like usually four or five digits. Password. The only people who should receive credentials are students who are taking an online test and extemporaneous writing. If you have material that was uploaded Tallow. to Tallo, that does not apply to you. You don't need a code. When it comes to uploading for teams, in the event modification sheets, we ask that all team members upload materials to Tallo. That's not true. In the event guidelines that Nationals sent out this year, they wanted it to be one. Therefore, if multiple team members upload or if one team member uploads, all, it's all is good. good. In previous videos, we said that, it, and it's I believe it's in a- In text. In text. It says it will be Zoom. It could be Zoom or Google Meet. Just because we don't have that many Zoom accounts to be able to pass out, so we're relying on teachers to be able to create meetings so that in biomedical debate, job seeking skills, and hostable, that there, there's some platform that will be used, but hopefully it is um, common enough that you have it, and if not, you'll receive notice of what it will be. On the morning of regionals, on the regionals page on Michigan HOSA, this is the page. There will be a welcome by the st uh, student officers and possibly Sam and I if there are any last minute updates. Also, if you can make sure to subscribe to the Michigan HOSA YouTube channel, you'll be alerted if there are any live updates that are happening. Make sure to smash that like button. If you're doing forensic medicine and if you're a middle schooler doing extemporaneous health poster, the topics and case studies will be posted on that regionals page as well on our website um, at the time it says in the conference program. And that's... Oh, hold on. I don't want to do this anymore. Silence is loud. And I don't have the emotional capacity for you right now. I don't it. have the emotional capacity for you ever. Okay. I hate you. I just want to give a shout out to all the teachers who have volunteered to help. We really appreciate that. Yes. And that's <laughs> one more time. I'm not talking anymore. I would like to reiterate our gratitude for your level of participation this year. You guys are absolutely awesome. We're crushing it here in Michigan because you guys are sweet. So thank you for that. We can't 
wait for Saturday to get here. We are looking forward to it. We're pretty sure it's gonna be a really good day. We'll dust ourselves off, we'll pick ourselves up, and we'll just move on and do it again. Dish yourself up and came back for more. Take it away. Cause life's a dance, you learn as you go. This episode's Sometimes you lead and sometimes you follow. Don't worry about what you don't know. Life's a dance, you learn as you go. Life's a dance, you learn as you go. That's the host away. Does that make sense to you if you were watching this video? <laughs> yeah. Peace o cake. I found you. <laughs> Get it together. Get it back to you. The play is good. About a month or two. I don't, I don't know the rest. So after this, we're going to have to look up this trending Christmas song. It's something about like all, like all he wants for Christmas is um, a cure for COVID. It's like a dance. New... I prance. I don't sled. I slay. I don't stop. I shop. Shop. Oh wow! All team actually. Which I want to hear that by the way. What? Willow. Life was a willow when it bent right to your wind. I haven't heard it yet. I heard uh -oh. it like five times, all on accident. Oh, is it not good? Like I wanted to because it says Willow. I know, that's why I want to listen to it. Yeah. Is it about a girl named Willow or is it about a willow tree or is it about... It's more of a willow tree. It's about growing, I think. I don't know. I don't get words. <laughs> I don't understand words of songs. Does it have a good beat? That's all I know. I'm bouncing from topic to topic, but the, did you see... Well, hold on. Okay. The fact that I'm not really crazy about the song is like a 95% chance that Sam is going to like the song. Mm, yeah. That is always very true. Yeah. So, you know... I like good music. I like better music. <laughs> Touche. You know on the update of iTunes, or like if you play a song, it now, you can have the words come up? Yes, I love that. Yeah. Yeah, Which, it's very helpful to me. Not to toot my own horn, I'm usually pretty good about lyrics, mm -hmm. but there are, there are some times where you find out the lyrics or something, and you're like, how have I missed that? Well, one of mine was, um, You Can't Hurry Love by Phil Collins, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought you, you're catering love. I can't hurry love. I'm sure I've told you this one before, but the Big O Jet Airliner. Yeah, by Steve Miller Band. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, Big O Jet Airliner. <laughs> and my, what is that? My husband was like, Big O Jet Airliner? Oh, oh, um, this episode is full of a lot of music. That's because we have a song in our heart. It's the only thing I can do to keep from crying. I know. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs>